join na lang ikaw, Palihog. Okay. So again, so good evening. This is part uh, two of our lecture for today. It's all about hypothesizing, uh, hypothesis testing, but this time paired observation. Okay. So this is one example to determine whether membership in a fraternity is beneficial or detrimental, hindrance or barrier. To one's grades, the following grade point averages were collected over a period of five years. Okay. Can you imagine if you have your thesis? For example, your thesis is all about you want to compare okay, what's the effect of the online class okay, sa grado ng sudyante, uh, compare with the face-to-face. The -face. That's two groups, no? Per observation. Okay. If you have your, your thesis, what is the effect, for example, MBA students, what is the effect, for example, uh, uh, your collection, no? For example, you have, I don't know, what's, what are the factors that will affect your collection? For example, your credit, okay? So you think of factors, okay? M in, example, what uh, caused the delay of your project, okay? Uh, ano ba? Or if experimental kayo, okay? What additives will you put in your concrete para mas madali siyang mag, ano, mag cure, okay? Yung ganong klase, okay? You may use hypothesis testing. Pwede din ANOVA class, kasi ANOVA kasi uh, compare din kung meron bang difference o wala, okay? Now, assuming the populations to be normal, test at 0 0.025 level of significance, whether membership in a fraternity is detrimental or barrier or hindrance to one's grades. Okay? So, can you look at the screen? No? So, the lowang groups. Now, if you will compare them as equal, it means to say, okay, ano ba? If they're equal, there's no difference. So therefore, it is not detrimental, correct? Okay, because you're assuming that they are equal. Okay, pag join the fraternity, okay, so they are equal. So kapag dinindak mo yung dalawang equal na variable or number, you the answer is always zero. Okay, so there is no difference. Okay, so the other uh, conclusion here, okay, yung difference is less than zero. Ibig sabihin, may epekto yung isa. Tama ba? Okay? Na ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo class that uh, some books, hindi naman nagbigay ng greater or equal to. Okay? For example, here in this example, the difference should be less than zero. Ibig sabihin, yung isa dyan mas superior. Okay? Yung isa dyan nakaka-apekto. Ito sa grado ng sudyante. So the claim here, okay, basahin natin ulit that Assuming the population to be normal, test at 0 0.025 level of significance whether membership is detrimental to one's grades. Kapag sinabi natin detrimental, okay, bababa yung grado. Okay, correct? So in short, kapag inuna natin yung grado na merong nag-join na fraternity, mas mababa doon sa uh, grado na sudyante na hindi nag-join na fraternity. So, ibig sabihin, kapag you're deducting a lower, okay, tama ba? Lower number, doon sa malaki number, the answer is negative. That is why it says here, less than zero. Okay, I hope you understand class, no? So, ito yung ating claim dito. Okay, nasa step number two, A sub one. As you can see, I'm using the A sub zero to A sub one because I'm using the, the book of Ronald Walpole. Okay? So, nilagay ko dito yung maliit na yan. Okay, in life ko. Okay. Nag-agree tayo that you should put greater equal, not only equal. I hope that is understood, class, no? Okay, ito yung sinasabi ko. Some books will just put equal, but may instruction to you, kapag given ng less than, you should put a greater equal. Para pareho tayo ng answer. Kasi ang other books naman, po pwede niya masabihin na nakalagay ito should be greater than. Okay, kasi remember this, greater than or equal. Okay, so I hope nagkakaintindihan tayo dito, no? Okay, next. Okay, step number three, the same pa rin, 0 0.025. Now, for the critical region, okay, so, tignan natin yung formula. Okay, yung formula, dami ko na na-open. Okay, yung formula sa, sa ibaba, no? 
V is equal to n minus 1, no? Yung kailangan natin later. And your S sub D. It means, uh, D, uh, S means standard deviation. Okay, if you, can, you can still remember. D means differences. Okay? Now, the problem here, sa ano yung kukunin natin na, na information, okay, para makuha natin yung tabulated na T. Okay, so the same pa rin. Okay, uh, we need the alpha and your V. Okay, let's go back. Next. Okay, your, uh, your N here is yung pair, no? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? So, that is 5 minus 1. Remember, V is equal to N minus 1. That is why it's 4 here. Okay? So, kung gamitin natin itong 4 at saka yung alpha, 0 0.025. Uh, hindi natin dapat i-divide sa 2. It's because hindi naman siya 2 tail test. So, gamitin natin the rest ng 0 0.025 at saka yung 4. So, open natin yung ating okay, uh, t-test. Sir, bakit t-test? Okay, yun lang talagang pwedeng gamitin natin sa fair observation class, t-test. No? So, we're using the t-distribution table. Okay, remember, v is equal to 4 and your alpha is 0 0.025. Okay, ito, no? 0 0.025 at saka 4. The answer is 2.776. Okay. Ayan. Okay, let's go back. Okay, that is why, okay, negative 2.77. Sir, bakit negative? Okay, nakalimutan ko. Yung ating basis sa pag-drawing is always sure step number 2. Okay, remember, this is less than. Imagine this is tip of the arrow. It will instruct you it should be pointing to the left. That is why left. Yung value natin kayo sa t-distribution table is positive. Assume directly it should be negative. Why, sir? Kasi nga, nasa left side yung ating shaded portion. That is why it should be negative 2.776, not positive. No? So after that, we can now proceed with the step number 5, the computations. Okay, using the formula again, as you can see the formula, kailangan natin ng, ng difference, uh, average ng difference. Yung bar means average, no? minus the uh, difference uh, under your null hypothesis or a sub zero divided by the uh, the standard uh, deviation of the differences okay divided by the square root of n okay let's go back so kailangan natin ng ikunin yung differences no grado sa fraternity grado sa non fraternity you deduct just get the difference okay, ito yung differences okay then after that, you add okay, the summation is 0.5. To get the average, you just need to deduct, uh, divide that with the number of the data. In this case, 5. No? So again, uh, please add. Then you divide this to 5. That is why the D, the, the average of difference is point, negative 0.1. Okay, so meron na tayo dito, dito value. Okay? So my value dito na 0. Okay, bakit sir? Kasi 0 yung dito. Okay? So, ang problema na lang is itong standard deviation ng differences. Okay? This is the, the formula for the standard deviation of uh, differences. No? Kaya follow na lang class. No? Kasi iba yung standard deviation formula dito. Okay? So, this is the variance. Okay? Remember what we did before. Okay? This is the... Uh, ano ba? Uh, Iba na ito dati sa standard deviation, no? Kasi on the standard deviation natin, we need to get the variance, okay? How to get the variance here, or deviations, I mean. Okay? Sorry, deviation, no? So we need to get the, uh, the the average, then deduct each of the data. Remember that that step, no? That uh, how to solve for the standard deviation. But in this case, can you follow na lang this uh, formula, no? Exclusive for this uh, type of testing, uh, paired observation. Okay, the formula says that n okay, times the, uh, the summation of your square of your, your differences. Okay, class. Okay, after you will uh, deduct, square mo siya isa-isa. 
Okay? So, negative 2 square will give you 0 0.04. Okay? 0.1 square will give you 0 0.01. Negative 2, uh, 0.2 square, uh, square will give you 0 0.04. Okay? So, maging positive na lahat yan. So, after that, you add. Okay? So, it means to say, this one is the sum of the squares of the differences. Okay? That's the formula. Minus okay, the square of the the average of the difference. Okay? Kung ano yung difference dito, yung average point. No, no, no. Sorry. Okay? Uh, the summation of the differences pala. Okay? The summation of the differences. Okay? This portion. Then you square. That's the formula. Okay? Divided by okay, n. Nilagay ko na dito. n times n minus 1. Okay? So that's the formula. Lagay ko na lang plus. I-edit ko na lang ito. Okay, uh, ito, parang noon din naman, nilagyan ko lang ng araw, parang gets naman yung siguro, parang nilagyan ko lang ng araw, plus na. No? Basta dyan siya galing. Okay. Nilagyan ko na lang ito ng difference, no? D is difference. Okay. I need to do this class kay hindi ba ya kayo ano lahat gets da yun no? Di ba sa'yo makalimutan ka agad ba? Okay? Pag sinabi kong difference, deduction, no? Okay? Klaro mas square ito siya so you need to square each the difference, no? Then you add. So here, the total. Ilagyan ko lang total. Okay? So ganyan. So after nyan, meron na tayong value sa S sub D squared. Kaya lang sa formula nakalagay S sub D lang. Okay? So, you need to get the square root. Okay? So, I will put na lang siguro a note here. Get the square root. Okay? Para maka-obtain kayo ng 0.14142. Okay? So, yan. So, after nyan, you just substitute sa formula, the answer is negative 1.58. So, balik pa rin tayo dito. You plot 1.5, negative 1.58 sa graph natin. Okay, enlarge natin, plus. Okay, it's... It's no wala. Okay, it's here, no? Okay, the question here, I hope makita pa. Is negative 158 is uh, beyond negative 2.776 or before? Okay, so I think we'll agree it should be before, no? So, nasa unshaded portion siya, not shaded portion. So, therefore, you will accept. Again, kapag nasa not shaded portion siya, you need to accept. Kapag na shaded portion siya, you need to reject your null hypothesis. Okay, so in conclude, you're accepting the null hypothesis. Actually, that is the opposite of the claim, no? Okay, you're accepting that and conclude that the membership in a fraternity does not significantly af affect one's grades. Kasi ang claim nito, okay, whether membership fraternity is detrimental, no? Ibig sabihin nakaka-apekto ng, ano ba, uh, nakaka, nakaka baba siya ng grado kasi detrimental siya eh. So, does not affect, uh, does not affect the one's grades, no? That's the decision because you're accepting it, greater equal to. You don't know kung greater or equal siya. Basta sabi to greater or equal. No? Wala siya nakaspecify equal siya or greater. Basta sinabi greater or equal. Okay? So that's for our part 2 ng ating lecture for today. I will stop to share the recording.